Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be jumping into this super cute pink soft glam look today. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell. That way you get notified anytime that I make a new upload. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into this look. I am just gonna be doing an eye focus for today. So we're just gonna jump straight into the eyes. I already have the skin done. You guys have seen me do my skin routine a few times. If you haven't, just feel free to go over to my other videos. I have plenty of videos with my updated skin routine. So I'm gonna be priming the eyes first using the Be Perfect Cosmetics Perfect Prime Eyeshadow Base to make sure that all of our shadows are nice and vibrant for today's look. Even though this is more of a soft glam type of look, I still want the colors to kind of be more on the vibrant side and everything. So we're definitely gonna to wanna to make sure to prime properly. So we're gonna place that all over the lid and just make sure to blend it outwards into the crease. So pretty much all of the shadows that I'm gonna be using for today's look are gonna come from this Lick and Lash Beauty Playful Palette. The first color that I'm gonna be jumping into is Barbie. This is a hot pink shadow, and we're gonna start applying that onto the crease. I'm gonna build this color up slowly until I get my desired pigment. I'm also going with more of a rounded shape for this look, so I'm gonna apply the shadow in that shape as well. For my second shadow, I'm going in with the shade Sweet Cheeks, which is a lighter pink, and we're gonna use that to blend out the edges of that shade Barbie. I'm using a fluffy brush to apply this color as well, just so everything has that super smooth, blown out effect. Then next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Plum. This one is slightly darker than all of our other colors, so it's gonna bring some depth into the look. I'm also gonna use this shadow with a much smaller brush. This is a Morphe M506, just to really make sure I'm getting that precision into the crease. Before I go in with my next shadow, I'm gonna add a little bit of primer onto the lid to start shaping out the lid space. Even though I'm not doing a cut crease, I still want the lid space to be a little bit defined. So I'm using that Be Perfect eyeshadow primer just to kind of shape it out a little bit. Once I have the primer on and blended in, I'm gonna go back in with that shadow plum to blend out the edges. Then taking a flat shader brush from Morphe, I'm going in with the shade Peach and applying that onto the lid. I'm then gonna jump into the Beauty Bay Pastels palette and taking that pastel peach color, I'm gonna add that onto the lid as well for just a little bit of extra highlight. Moving back into that shade Barbie, which is our first hot pink color that we used on the crease, I'm also gonna use this shade to smoke out the lash line. So I'm going in with a slightly smaller, like smudgy type of brush and just pressing that into the lashes to create a smoky liner. And that's pretty much it for the lid and the crease. So now I'm gonna start working on the lower lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and add my pop of green using this a green gel liner from Ofra Cosmetics. I'm using a really small detailing brush and applying this onto the waterline. Then taking shades Sugar Plum and Barbie, I'm using these two colors to blend out the outer portion of the lower lash line. And that's pretty much it for the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and add my mascara. I'm using one from Huda Beauty. This is their Legit Lashes Mascara. It's a double-ended one, so I'm gonna use the curl and lengthen side. And from there, I'll just pop on my lashes. Today's lashes are from Lily Lashes, and they're in the style Ella. So I'm gonna finish up the skin now. I just need to add my nose highlight. I'm using the Be Perfect Cosmetics Shape Shifter Palette. This is the blush and highlighter side that was done in collaboration with Zachary Vang. And taking that shade Lotus at the end, I'm gonna add that to the bridge, the tip, and the sides of the nose. And for today's lip combo, I'm gonna start off lining the lips using the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in shade Limitless Brown. I'm gonna make sure to feather in the outer corners just to really make sure that when I put on my lipstick, everything blends together super easily. Once I've got my liner on, I'm gonna go in with my lipstick. I'm using a combination of two different shades from Melt Cosmetics. These are their Ultra Matte Lipsticks. I'm gonna start off with shade Tease and apply that first, and then add Paulina on top to brighten the center. 
And of course, I just had to wear gloss with this look. So I'm gonna be topping off this lip with the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Juicy Gloss. This is the watermelon scent. Ooh, you guys, this smells so, so, so good. <laughs> This lip gloss smells so good. So I'm gonna use that one and I'm also going to mix that with the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss in shade Just A Girl, which is another kind of like hot pink type of gloss. It has a lot more pigment than the e.l.f. lip gloss. So mixing them together is going to tone down the pigment of the Too Faced one and sheer it out a little bit more. And that completes today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed this super cute pink soft glam. Definitely let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And yeah, I'm leaving all of the information for these products down below in the description box. So if you guys have any questions about any of the products that I use, definitely check there. Thank you so much for watching guys. I love you and hopefully I will see you in the next one.